à la situation actuelle en Libye, comment vous qualifiez ces, ces accusations Est-ce que vous ne considérez pas que toutes ces accusations viennent encore davantage déstabiliser la région au niveau à la fois politique et militaire, puisque nous savons que l'Algérie a fermé sa frontière avec la Libye Autre question sur le plan politique. Position towards the Libyan crisis has been uh, qualified as an ambiguous one. Do, don't you think that this further destabilizes, destabilizes um, the region, particularly uh, further to Algeria's recent decision to close borders with Libya? Um, that's the first question. And the second one is um, there are more and more fears in the United States uh, that uh, the activity of Islamism increases in the region. Don't you think that uh, this fear? is further uh, reinforced by NATO's intervention. Uh, in other words, don't you think that NATO's intervention has made things worse? And the third point is about uh, weapons proliferation. Don't you think that NATO's intervention has made things worse? Because they knew beforehand that uh, it was a vulnerable uh, region. So they, uh, don't you consider that as an, uh, a wrong uh, approach or a mistake in their approach? Approach. And the fourth question is about Africa. Uh, you said that you have little budget. Don't you think that that budget should go into peace and stability operations and not to funding further wars, particularly that uh, there is starvation in several African states? Yeah, you, those are very long questions. I'll try to give brief answers. Uh, first, it, uh, uh, it's not for the United States to address uh, uh, questions about uh, Algeria's uh, foreign policy. That's for the Algerians to, uh, to address. Uh, to your second and third questions, um, uh, I, I would uh, refer back to earlier response. Had the United Nations uh, not made, made a decision, had the United States and its allies uh, not responded, uh, there's no question in my mind, but thousands of Libyan innocent citizens would have been killed. And, and it would have been uh, unconscionable for the United States and others to allow that to happen. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps I wasn't clear, or perhaps you didn't understand my earlier question about what it is that Africa Command tries to do. It, it is our objective to partner with African states in ways that are helpful to those African countries. In, in my experience of uh, more than 35 years as a soldier, I have found that no one more than a soldier abhors war and conflict. So I reject in the strongest possible terms your assertion that uh, the United States is seeking uh, to conduct military operations. Um, he has got two questions. Um, the first one is, um, all the de U.S. delegations and officials that come to Algeria speak highly and view highly the cooperation and the level of partnership between our two countries. They all only speak about positive things, but never of any problem between both countries. I am referring here particularly to a Blue Lantern uh, program. What is your comment about that? That's the first question. And the second one is, I would like to go back to Af uh, AFRICOM's basis in Africa. Is it, f for the, uh, is it planned, or are there any thoughts of uh, Libya hosting AFRICOM and having a base there, particularly considering, not only considering the current uh, circumstances, but also because there are lots of other foreign governments that are thinking of uh, establishing themselves in Libya at the long term, uh, uh, and I'm thinking particularly of France. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I don't know Blue Fountain, so I, I can't respond. No. Blue, blue answer. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah. for me. But, okay, uh, I'll, okay, Ms. Villarosa, I'll let, it take, uh, I, I, let me just be very clear. There are, there are no plans, no plans, whatsoever uh, to establish any bases, U.S. military bases in Africa other than the one base we currently have that uh, we operate in, uh, in Djibouti. 
Um, with regard to your first question, um, the reason that you hear so many positive words uh, from the United States with regard to our cooperation with the government of Algeria is because it is very good. We, we um, and it is getting better. But like any friendship, we don't necessarily agree on 100% of every issue. But because we respect each other and we do have a good friendship, we're able to, to discuss uh, issues easily between friends and amicably resolve them. Um, the ladies from Le Monde newspaper. Uh, I think that many of you came to the same conclusions yesterday, and I heard that there is a forum that the United States is hosting in September on counterterrorism. What's the point of that forum, considering all these intelligence sharing uh, activities, but also military cooperation? Um, on September 22nd, uh, a group of nations, not the United States, but including the United States, will announce the formation of a global counterterrorism forum in New York. Um, the reason for this, uh, setting up this forum, is the increasing realization that terrorism is not a U.S. problem, is not, it is not a problem for any one country to handle by itself. It is very much a global problem, and the the best way to uh, to confront this challenge is to work together, to learn from each other in terms of how we can most effectively eliminate the terrorist threat. So the point of the Global Counterterrorism Forum will be to exchange views between experts and see how um, and offer suggestions, uh, mobilize resources for countries that are interested in improving their abilities. And it's focused on civilian law enforcement, um, judicial, uh, the judiciary and cr criminal justice system, and I'm talking too long, and um, countering violent extremism. راتيبا بعد ما من جريدة البلاد سؤالي موجه للسيدة فيلاغوسا. The ladies from Al Bilad newspaper. And she said there's been lots of talks recently in the media about Algeria hosting Al Gaddafi's family. What is the U.S. position towards this? Um, basically, the, un the United States is uh, supportive of the UN position, and um, there's various resolutions that have been passed by the United Nations, and I'm sure that Algeria is well aware of these UN uh, resolutions. Uh, if I, uh, maybe I'll just add a bit to that, if you don't mind. Just, just to add one thing there, and that is that uh, we are confident that Algeria uh, is fully supportive of all aspects of international law. Uh, it's a very serious part of Algerian foreign policy and, and we have complete confidence in, in their ability to respect the, uh, the UN requirements on this. Thank you. Général, comment faire face maintenant au risque qu'a créé la crise libyenne dans la région du Sahel, surtout avec la, la circulation des armes How can we now face the risk that uh, has been posed this country by the uh, Libyan crisis, particularly in terms of weapons proliferation? Um, it will uh, helping Libya uh, become a, a safe and stable state will require the best efforts of, of uh, the neighboring countries and of the international community. Uh, concerns such as the proliferation of weapon and other matters, economic development, the formation of a new government uh, in Tripoli, will require everyone uh, to assist uh, the Libyan people in forming a new government. And how do we face the risk that we the region of Sahel today because of this crisis Libyan? I think we said one question. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.